tonight on RGB, we find out who got got in the news. Then we see who won and lost with our weekly style star and hot mess, and we chat to Brooke Logan. Africa, the real Kaposa Ibuilekwakonaman to give you Mzantu's hottest gossip and glamour fresh from the rumor mill. Dingusinazum na indom ya pa em tata kwa yolwa grinding the gossip gears with me tonight is my spicy co-host, my spicy co-pilot with just the right amount of tss I think for the rest of the show, Farman Lugbi is the old. Because you're sizzling. You're sizzling. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to not abantu abapheteyo. Apha ke mzansi sai bills elango April i democracy and the world is only catching up with us now in September. So never say we're not ahead of the game, eh? Ukuba akukho zikhalazo ndivotela ke mna ke ndobana singqale kwizinto that had tongues wagging with what was hot in the news this week. According to a recent report, the actress apparently had to move out because Because Umun Child has given us an anthem. So Kundi Kaela Make Lane. <laughs> On that subject, Lerataranya Otikuko is stalker named Jero K that keeps stalking her no matter how many times a chincha in Nambayak. Guys, whoever is giving out Nambayak, you know, that's our band to Munganom Nigan, the way in Nambay, a manager, yeah, KK. I mean, that's what we pay them for. Kunibosi say Abashelangu Gerald K. Run. Because Mutia was a sogol is a phone in a mass bang up in the Aguenzin. O Caspano vest, Uti Agana Magiana, Goba Upeni Mayangani, a seven say it trade Makiake, it's a fill up. He just wished the guy had called it something else. So if I find a banditi, I don't have a problem with you dating my ex, I just wish you dated somebody else. O Caspa Uti Yena, I'd just like to protect my idea, I don't care about the money that he made. Well, I guess we can say he sees the glass as half full. Are we still allowed to say, fill up the glass? Hashtag. And you understand the uncle and the cast from Nazi because, I mean, like you were saying, Uti, I wish he hadn't used it, but I'm fine with it. <sighs> Choose a side. But it's still up, okay, who cares for Betuna? Yeah, Nana Bopula Puli by Metro FM Bambalo. I have cottoned on to Denewa Ranaka's apparent dislike for the rapper. Now, some listeners have asked why she can't remain neutral and just play the song. Well, in her radio voice. Mm -hmm. Now, pretty ugly. Uti agai tandi ndo yoba abantu are hitting him up for favors za mahala benga sedenzi benga nzi nix. Yes, uke wa netisa omnyumfana with varsity registration fees. Kwa tufunu kwa mba kuteni e tunyelwa in nudes from the ladies. Eh, unomdu lomdu man, so akafunu kwa jani. So akota ke, with that said, ukanduva loku na ukwangu emzi nwake, aploke abantu angafunu teta nabo lukui. Pretty ugly putuamu. Please, if you are receiving a content that you are not enjoying, Dikela, block it, unsubscribe, lest we find oh, banana analysis. Bontle. Lest we find Bontle, a sensor is going to end Bali, going on stage, a teddy bear is going to call a blamer, or my fellow sister. But anyway, for Unati, being brave, true, and strong isn't just a tour name. It's her motto. And we're taking the audience on a 15-part journey through her career. And it's going to be in a cool way, too. Not like when you have to sit through a When I Was a Child story. For of money in Mali, you was a tennis club. Now, veteran actor Mdudu Zimabaso, Uti actors should focus less on living the life and spend time refining their craft and investing in their education. In Yani Gebandu Iti, the spotlight and the followers will eventually fade and akoma jala apata luangi exposure apapandle mani. You can't be hashtag living your best life, ube u broke staying with your folks. Upoetika Uti, she is more afraid of never trying than failing. Reactions to Boiti's move into rap have been mostly positive. If fans Necho Mizake being the least surprised that it happened. Now, as a side note, the rapper said, Agazukwenza is shake your booty live shows. Oh, well, fanboys could always take a 
pointy booty picture and shake the phone instead. Mm -hmm. Give the effect of being uh, at a live show. No, Diakova, Uba Utin. Let's hope it doesn't turn into Izindo as he X rated because we're not about that life. Utino Ranaka was dragged by the B Force for allegedly calling Bonang Mateba a classy strat mate. Utino mm. Waklepa Bekke Ususi Wati, yay! I'm standing by my comment about your girl B. A city gay and she could talk about her whenever she wanted because I'm got to almost lot in known as about off limits. I guess I'm not cast by yet to many Pagala spices. So if you're lucky. As much as I can uh, throw it out, I can also take it. Yeah, well. That is all that went down with the Bazetu Every week, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the RGB style star of the week. This week, I'm going to go to Now, Queen B has been flying the SA style flag high and go back with New York Fashion Week. Your girl B reigns across the ocean. I wonder how Dinoa Ranaka feels about that. God, I get banned. For every yin, there is a yang. For every up, there is a down. And for every style star, there's an RGB hot mess of the week. Take your L, ladies and ma. <sighs> Sorry, get off now and coco moya because ladies are magunin. This is a sekalela. You know now everybody agreed that she killed her performance. It's the jumpsuit that makes her look like she was attacked by Smurfs that made tweeps call for her stylist's head. Follow me, lady. Get her dressed next time. So if you're feeling blue, now's the time for some retail therapy. Loko poza isabuya, gogo. Coming up, we take a short left to Limpopo, then we rough it up with celebs, and we chat to Brooke Logan Forrester Forrester. Welcome back to the show that keeps the gossip rocking harder than the passion wagon at a music festival. Now, speaking of rocking, it's time for a relaxing cruise. We join some fine folks to learn what their sea legs are made of. Pa enandoni dem evenda. Chabulap ungafim. Right, we are still out and about. With me right now is the CEO of Limpopo Tourism Agency, Sis Noma Song How are you doing, ma'am? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. First things first, what is the great experience about? Well, for us as Limpopo Tourism Agency, this was uh, an interesting uh, take on the Royal Heritage Festival yeah. to have a hosted um, type of event, a lifestyle event, just to show more uh, to enjoy in Limpopo. Can you swim since you are so mega and so on top of the game? Pamela, I will be at the bottom. I can't swim at all. Six out of ten. No, I cannot. So I was a bit scared when I was on the boat. So I was hoping they won't tip over because I would have probably drowned. Then they are going to shame. Don't jump out, Rachel. Balls right there. So if you had to have the Titanic experience, who would you have it with? Uh, I would have it with uh, my guys at work at Fem. Yeah. yeah, I think they're, they're an awesome bunch. Some of them are here actually uh, with uh, with me. Titanic with anyone. Um, look, I wouldn't really want to put anybody through that. That's such torture. And what's going to be the first thing that you hold on to if anything happens in the boat? I will try to mostly hold on to my life, but I'll probably have uh, some alcohol. My life, nothing else. I was gonna try to survive, yeah. leave everything else, nothing else. Um, hopefully a life jacket, because yeah. that would be something that would actually Amazing. help me yeah. to do something with. So definitely a life jacket, okay. yes. If you could save two people, who would you save? Okay, obviously my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And I will save my mother. I, the rest can die. Oh my word, only two. Yeah. Um, I would save our head of marketing, Busisi Web, only because she's new. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would also save our head of finance and operations because, <laughs> because we need Tabo Muridi. Yeah, no, we gotta keep the money going, you know? <laughs> oh, snap, am I included in the two? Okay, first me, anytime. And then I'll pick one of my friends and I'll save them. And the other one can drown. Hey, Shmara, this is life. <laughs> and why do you think black girls don't like getting their hair wet? Ah, uh, because this. It's expensive. 
Well, I, look, I don't have an issue with that. Like, I have natural hair underneath all of this, yeah. so it naturally just bounces back. And what rocks your boat? Um, a beautiful woman like you. What rocks my boat? Yeah. I think it's my gorgeous girlfriend. Ooh, what rocks my boat? Good people. Good, good people, vibe. good vibes, and genuinely people with a good heart, yeah. whose hearts are in the right place. That, that's my vibe. Good music, good people, good vibes. That's it. So, I was going to tell you that I was not a man. I was going to tell you that 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 I was going to tell you well, while we were in Venda with the great experience, we wanted to experience the beauty of that province. So we asked some famous faces to tell us how they'd survive in the wild. With me right now is Kumi. Babes, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. We're out in the wild. Why do you, what do you like the most about nature? Um, I think I love the fresh breeze. Yeah. And uh, I don't think I liked the dust a little bit. The calmness. Nature in the Chungaman and Goban that is the peace. Nuri Nifana Dakar and Amraro. I want to cheat on Oconi dinner and the fact that I want to save it. Now, no Kazifono. I don't want to go on a hand to come at a mini mini. Oh, look, man, I think it's uh, it's surreal being here. I think it's very calming. I think the drive was absolutely amazing, you know. Do you think you would survive in a forest by yourself for a good week? No. <laughs> I'll never survive. No. Okay. Um, would I like the challenge? Yes. Also, look, <laughs> I love nature, but am I one to try and hang out in nature for too long? No. <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure if I'd survive, but um, look, if I have water, yeah. if I have food. <laughs> but you, exactly, that's where the surviving schools come in. Are you going to be able to get that water and get that food, babe? Look, then I don't think I'd survive. I need my phone. <laughs> And who would be the worst celebrity and who would be the best celebrity to get stuck with in that kind of situation? The worst celebrity to get stuck with would be Bonang Mateba. Wow, I think I'll pass. Um, so I can't choose a person. I can't, I can't choose you to be with me. No. <laughs> oh, wow. She'd be like, darling. <laughs> you want that where, champagne? Where's the champagne? <laughs> darling. Actually, can I get water, darling? <laughs> uh, the best celebrity to probably be stuck with, um, other than you, obviously. <laughs> Uh, I'm not a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hungaba Pearl Tusi. Okay, cool. And if you had to get stuck, and then you you know, you call first or you think of first. Um, I think I would definitely phone my brother, my dad. Oh, wow. Um, I think Baba Karazianga. Shoni Sani. I would go my mom, but I know my mom is going to say, the way you got there is how you is how you're gonna get back. For some, survival is the thrill of sleeping under the night sky with the stars. And for the rest of us, it's surviving without five-star treatment. So in Danzamui Tetaman is choose your adventure wisely. That is very true, but right now you've got some time to head on over to Google. Ubone to bana ungaba umaka evanja na ukokotele inji no buyenza nge chungama. Ia RGP za ubuwe angetal. After the break, we get bold with the beauty that is Brooke Logan. to the show that brings you the brightest stars in Africa. But speaking of the brightest stars, I now have bragging rights. <laughs> it's not every day that you get to meet an icon from your childhood. When's it just that? Catherine Kelly Lang, aka Brooke Logan, the original Slay Queen, honey, was in South Africa recently, and our very own Samaru Kungu Kungu, last born, you got to got to have a sit down chat with her. All you haters can begin tweeting right about now. For the past 31 years, Catherine Kelly Lang has come into our homes every single evening as Brooke Logan. And of course, she won the hearts of many people all around the world, especially here in South Africa, because we love a focused queen. We love a queen that, you know, makes sure that she gets ahead. And uh, she's given us some of her time today, and we get to speak to her about the illustrious 31-year career that she has had. 
Catherine, thank you very much for giving us your time. Thank you. Firstly, thank you for being in South Africa. You know, it's so great to actually meet you in person because so many of us have grown up watching you for all of these years. Uh, tell us, why are you in South Africa? Well, I came to South Africa to do the World Championship Half Ironman, which was in Port Elizabeth, mm. and had a great race. It was a lot of fun. But then, of course, leading up to that, I was um, doing things with you guys, SABC3, mm -hmm. in Port Elizabeth with the Tourism Board, um, projects with Women for Try. I'm on the advisory board for that. That's bringing more women into the sport of triathlon. More things for Bold and Beautiful, of course, and then also doing a lot of charity work for Iron Man Foundation. Yeah. So you can imagine I had a really busy week and then had to race, uh, what is 70 miles? 120 kilometers? Wow. Yeah, so I just did that on Saturday. And um, so now I'm here in Johannesburg to do more fun with you guys and and uh, keep, have another busy week. What would you say is the one thing that sets South Africa apart from all the other countries that you've been to? Um, well, I have to say I haven't you know, experienced the other parts of South Africa yet, but mm -hmm. Port Elizabeth was really beautiful and they call it the Windy City, but they also call it the friendliest city. Yes. And I have to tell you, it was the friendliest city I've ever been to. Tell us about the 31 years that you've spent playing Brooke Logan. How has that been? Well, it's been a long time, 31 mm -hmm. years. I, uh, you know, it's more than half my life and my kids, I was pregnant while I was on the show and then they kind of grew up there at the studio with mm -hmm. me. So it's it's really been a big part of my life, being able to act and do something that I love to do every single day. You know, yeah. it's just such a blessing and it's a great job and it's a great show. And what would you say is the, the biggest similarity that you have with your character? And what would you say is also the biggest difference? Uh, well, I think we both love our children. Mm -hmm. You know, we love our families. Brooke is, she loves the idea of love and falling in love. And of course her soulmate she thinks is Ridge. So she's been always in love with Ridge and, and she's been married a lot of times. Yep. I know people make fun of that, <laughs> but it is a soap opera and it's about relationships. Yes. It's about love. It's about those families and it's a very small cast. Mm. So <laughs> the stories kind of circulate back around. So yes. it happens that I've been on there the longest, along with John McCook. So my characters had a lot of relationships, mm. and uh, I think ten marriages possibly to Ridge. So that's <laughs> kind of interesting. <laughs> but she's starting to learn, I think. From you know, she's made some mistakes mm. in her life. I think she's becoming quite an upstanding character and mm. and a good person. Uh, I can imagine that when Ron Moss left the show, uh, it was very different because you guys have been together since the beginning. She was the soulmate. How was that for you when he left? It was like part of your family leaving, mm. you know, because I worked with Ron for, what, 29 years? I think he left the 29th year. Um, but the same with Susan, you know, because yes. it was the four of us. It was John Bacook, Susan Flannery, Ron Moss, and me that were kind of the core four for a long time. So when they both left, it was, it was sad mm. and it was different. Things have changed, but you know, things always change in life, and then you, you know, it's it's also great the way it is now too. Brooke Logan and me. Stephanie Forrester yeah, had loves, such a crazy that. relationship yeah. because the one moment they're slapping each other, yeah. and the next moment they're like yeah. totally in love with each yeah. other. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think they, even though they hated each other for most of the time, they respected each other because mm -hmm. it was about the love for your family. Yes. So I mean, she was very protective and. Um, but Brooke was the same way, so I think they understood each other that way, and that's actually how they ended up becoming friends. I want to talk a little bit about Brooke's bedroom, because I believe that that line was the most successful line that Forrester Creations has ever done. And uh, how it ins... Yes, of course. I mean, the, whole, the whole Brooke's bedroom yeah. era on The Bold and the Beautiful was probably my favorite. Uh, but tell us about how that inspired the Catherine Fashion Line. Oh, that didn't. Actually, I never thought that that inspired mm. the fashion line at all. I, um, My mom was always into okay. uh, selling clothes. She had her stores since I was a little girl. So I learned from her how to dress people, how mm -hmm. to help people, how to um, also style them the way they should for themselves. Each person has a different personality and it's how does that piece of clothing or that color or that fabric or the movement of the garment 
reflect your personalities. But uh -huh. I agree with you, Brooke's bedroom is Brooke. the best. So we've got a question from Lisa Mon Lisa from Facebook who wants to know, playing such a big role in the story, do you face challenges in society around your character knowing that people can be so judgmental and forget that Brooke Logan is only a character? How do you deal with that? I don't take that seriously. Mm -hmm. I mean, people will always have opinions. They'll always, there's the kind of people that will always judge you, when, you know, and it's people that don't even know me. Yes. So it's like, okay, if you don't understand playing a character or a real person, then that's your problem. But um, but I'm not that, and, and I'm completely different than Brooke. All right, well, unfortunately, uh, we're gonna have to part ways now. Okay. <laughs> And I feel like I feel like I'm gonna have one of those moments where I'm gonna have that Brooke Logan cry with just the one eye. Oh gosh! On the side because can you do that? No, no. no. Maybe you can give no, me some you're tips. An actor. Maybe you can give me some tips. Because I mean, this is your this is your acting moment. <laughs> Come on, do it. No, but thank you so much for giving us your time. Oh. I really appreciate it. And oh. We hope that you enjoy the rest of your time that you're going to be here in South Africa with us. Thank you. Yes, I'm looking forward to to learning more about Johannesburg. Oh, but you know what? An amazing lady. Mm. And yes, Nazo, that one tear cry is the best. Yeah, it's born. definitely one to beat. And uh, she could get away with so many things, you know, she has done to all of those men with just that one tear. I still can't believe that people are still obsessed with the bold and the beautiful after so many years. Has a Samoran Kenabona comments on social media. Everybody, if you want to go to the house, you can't get away with it. 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 Because we all know that you can't get away with the Forrester family. You can't get away with the Forrester family. Pinda buyele kwa banya, pinda buyele kwa forest. Chonga ndi funu bantu DMs zamu. Because at this point in time, this man is on GitHub and I'm about to leave a trail of broken hearts, darling. I gave out to there will always be someone also funa ukuchincha to make you different. Ube lendo afuna wena ube yiyo. Some change is good, of course. Got to get if people like what you do and who you are, you've got to stay true to yourself. Otherwise, uzo pindu ve abandu sebe jika ngoku be city, you're not the artist I fell in love with. Yo, I got to be tuna ed milengaga. Kobandu zao talandila artist that you fell in love with. Be tuna abandu baya chincha, you must just love me for me. The kitchen is closed, but if you want to sneak a drink, the bar is still open on our Facebook page, which is Official Real Koboza, or on Twitter and Instagram at Official RGB. And don't forget to use the hashtag Real Koboza. Now, before we go, Monewa, Rose, yeah, to be tuned. As in, because next time we go invite you somewhere, please show up. If your DM game is on flick, is our personal page is there too. I'm at Sinazoyolwa. He's at Sam underscore Mangesi. Whatever it is that you're up to, be good at it. Good night. Mwah, son, next week. Bye.